Claire Bear, how are we? I'm good. How are you? Amazing. Going well. I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, I'm a little bit jealous. I am. You've got, uh, you got those ribs sitting there. I haven't eaten yet. I've, I've woken up, come on stream, and now you're here with like a fucking plate full of ribs. So I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> <I'm lying>. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. Okay. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah, she rubs in the block. And what are you drinking, by the way? Is that another Bloody Mary? What's going on there? Just water. Yeah, with ice. Okay, just, just water? You promise? Yeah, I swear. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you whatsoever. All right, that's fair. So you said uh, you said you're a filo. Is that right? A filler? Filo, Filipino. Oh, yes. I am Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, awesome. I'm like, I used to, <laughs> You're like, what? What am I? Huh? No, I used to work <laughs> back in the day before I do what I do now. I used to work as a nurse and literally everyone I worked with was Filipino. So yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you can't get rid of you guys. They love you, don't they? You were so they nice do actually. Them. All of them, <laughs> all of them called me uncle. I forget what the word is in in the language, Bishon. but everyone would call me. Bishon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's very like family vibe, right? Like everyone's like an uncle or auntie, is what I felt like. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Very nice. All right. So where tell me, from? uh, hmm? where am I from? You don't mm -hmm. know. No, you have a nice have a accent. Guess. Thank you very much. Where do you think it's from? <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Sorry. Good guess. Good guess. I swear to God, if you said England, I was going to be so mad. I was like, fuck this girl. We'll just end the date right now. Yeah, I'm from, uh, I'm from Sydney, but I travel around quite a bit. I'll be in America in June. We'll be in Austin for a month. So, oh, so you are from Australia? Yeah, yeah I'm Australian. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, did, I was like, oh my gosh. He's going to say the UK and I'm going to be like embarrassed. I couldn't. No, say if you said. All right, I'm going to be honest with you right now. If you said the UK, I would have been mad. Okay, I would have been very upset. So I'm impressed. Good, good guess. Okay, well done. Uh, yeah, I'll be in. I'll be in Austin in June. I'll be there for a month. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Have you been there before? Um, no, just uh, Houston and Dallas. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. What are you going to yeah, do? What am I doing there? Uh, so I run a similar business to Alex. So I do like the dating coach side of things as well. And then I also have like a sex coaching side of the business. So I'm going to be doing some workshops there for that. Um, so yeah, I'm actually interested. Like we, I guess we kind of do a similar thing in a way. Uh, so you're, you're just doing porn or are you you're escorting as well? Only fans? What, what you go? Mm -hmm. Only all fans, of the above. All of, that. all of the above, everything. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah stripping everything <laughs> Damn. okay and studying and studying that's okay that's impressive <laughs> you actually you remind me a little bit of so i do a podcast right it's like a sex podcast here in sydney and so the girl that i do it with she's also like a sex worker does like everything as well and it's funny like her love language the first thing she'll tell you is like when guys buy her things so on one of the dates, you were like, what turned you on? You're like, what's fun is when guys buy me things. I'm like, Jesus Christ, you guys are the same. Because it's sweet when you buy, like, I guess, you know, the five langu love languages, like gifts and words of affirmation, yeah. physical touch. Like, I think it's gifts. So when guys like buy me things, it's like, oh, you really are thinking about what I like, you know, because then I don't have to buy it myself, you know. So it's like, oh. What's, <laughs> what's the best gift? anyone's ever got on you a trip to the bahamas on a yacht okay, that's not that bad. Was <laughs> that's not bad. okay <laughs> that, I, I feel like that's going to be my love language too actually I, I wouldn't mind a trip to the bahamas so if you're offering i'm, I'm down let's go we'll, uh, we'll have a bahamas trip. that'll be fun <laughs> so cool, i want to go to Clara. australia yes you want to come to australia have you not been yeah <laughs> what have you not been here have you not been to australia before Never, never been. Okay, fuck. You got to change that. It's amazing here. I would have and I think, to be honest, I think you would like the guys here. Really? Are they very playful yeah. and flirty? I there's, like guys. Like yeah, that. there's a lot of there's a lot of daddy vibes, right? Very playful, <laughs> fun, and then so there's some daddy vibes here. I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> okay, exactly. I'm buying a yeah. ticket now. Yeah. <laughs> Just think, just think, like sexy accents, okay, half decent bodies, but then all the daddy vibes, right? They'll look after you, you know. They'll they'll take care of little Claire Bear, right? You'll you'll live it up here, okay? Fuck the Bahamas. Sydney's, uh, Sydney's where it's at. 
right? So tell me, you mentioned uh, you mentioned in one of the other dates about because uh, I'm always interested in this. Like when we do our podcast and we're interviewing like porn stars, I'm always interested in like your sex life in the actual industry and then outside of it, right? So you said in the industry, you do like a lot of you know daddy daddy little girl shit, right? Like stepdaughter. Mm-hmm. What do you like outside of the industry? Are you like vanilla or are they like kinks? Are you crazy? Like, what are you into? I like foreign guys. I love foreign like cause they foreign guys because like oh, I foreign, used to- foreign, okay. <laughs> like I said- I hope something else. Go, go for it. <laughs> okay, I hope it was a good thing. But yeah, mm. foreign guys because I used to only date like American guys because I obviously being in college and young, that's like you're used to that environment, you know? And then- mm. um, and then I moved to South Florida and I started getting exposed to like Hispanic guys, Russian guys and other guys. And I was just like so turned on and they can eat good. They eat. I've never seen other guys eat so good. They eat better yeah. than guys in the industry. <laughs> so, Damn, okay. <laughs> they know what's up. Yeah. Why do you think that is though? Why do you think the foreign guys are so good at eating compared to everyone else? I don't know, maybe because they like to pleasure the girl. The girl. Well, mm-hmm. you're foreign, so I could, I could imagine you eating me. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, very true, very true. No, I think a, a big part of it is there's like a certain amount of guys that really enjoy seeing the pleasure of women, right? Like there's uh-huh. some guys that just do it because they think they have to, and then there's some guys that eat pussy because they fucking love it, right? They just love seeing yeah. the girl like come over and over again. So I think like yeah. maybe the foreign guys you're meeting just have a passion for it. I think that's the important part, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> All right. So besides besides guys that are foreign, okay, tick, that love eating pussy, tick, okay, um, <laughs> from Australia, tick, is there is there anything else you uh, you typically like or look for in a guy? Yeah, it was going good. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to cut it, but I, I want to keep it fair so other people can't like cut it. Oh, oh, he got extra ten. Mm-hmm. He like. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, Marcus. So same, pro- same protocol. How would you rate this uh, date for yourself? Uh, yeah, it was average. Like as in, Clara did amazing. Clara's ten out of ten on this. Uh, but yeah, it was okay. It was alright. All right, Clara. Final question. Be brutally honest. Don't feel like pressured. You have to say one thing or another. Would you go on a date with Marcus? I would, but I feel like he wouldn't like going on a date with me, and I'll just be like, "Okay, I think my mom's calling me. I'll call you, talk to you later." No, no, no like, I, I would. <laughs> I'd love going on a date with you. Marcus has been texting me love stories about you all day. He's like, "Rosa red, That's Clara true. is makes my balls blue." So I'm, I don't know, <laughs> no, I'm for shit. The, the, I've been waiting this whole time to talk to you. Yeah, I've been like, "When am I coming on? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, yeah. Get, get, get rid of Johnny." So no. all right, Clara. Final question: Romantic or platonic? Romantic. Romantic. Yeah, cool.